<laughs> we bought the Fiat 126 Polski Fiat. It's been a uh, it's been a little while since I've started it because we've had the Christmas break and I've been really you busy put with the work. Through the... I have not put the antenna through the. Who did that? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who's done that. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> but uh, so we're about to start it, so this will be interesting. It looks smaller than the last time. <laughs> could, it, could it have shrunk in the sun? <laughs> Still yeah. looks good. Right. Right. So just get in and just see if it starts. Yes, we will see if it starts. The screw. Hello. Good day. Right. Vitae. So. All right. Just do the the normal choke thing like you did before. Clutch in. Choke on. Yep. Choke. Sure. Things not mm. coming on the radio. Yeah. Okay. No. No. Okay. Cool. So I guess we will have to get the jumper leads. Right. Okay. To be continued. Right. After. Oh. Right. Right. Down the battery. I really like the two uh, roosters at the front. I'm not going to say that other word. <laughs> that, that Q decided to say in the comment section. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! We have the power. We have the disco lights. <laughs> What are we doing? Mm, I can smell petrol, so it's petrol going in. I'm just taking the air filter pipe off so we might be able to spray some start your bastard in there. Vodka? Vodka. <laughs> Wait, that would be so awesome if we started this with spiritus. <laughs> spiritus. Yeah. It started with spiritus. Choke song. Yep. Okay, so take the choke off and then just just try that, but don't use any throttle. Okay. <laughs> Point where it at least sounds like do 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 yep. like it wants to start, which it's not doing at all. Um, so it's either got no fuel or no spark. Uh, I don't know much about cars. It didn't start for me. I'd call the uh, RACQ, but in this case, I have my coup. Mm. My laser gun. My laser gun. I've seen these in PlayStation. <laughs> I had a guy turn up to a Motec seminar once. We're talking about checking ignition timing. Now this is an engine management motorsport type of thing. And I showed a photo of a, of a timing light. The guy stops and says, oh, what's that? And we're like, what do you mean? It's like that, that gun thing, it's, it's timing light. And the whole room stopped and looked at me thinking, <laughs> he's possibly in the wrong place. <laughs> right. I wasn't at that seminar. <laughs> okay. Right, it's, it's got, it's got spark, so it's probably a fueling thing. Okay, stop. One spark plug's not going. Just try again. Okay, stop. It's interesting. All right, spark plug's checked. Here we go. Okay, a little bit of throttle. We're spraying petrol directly into the thing. Okay, ready? Here we go. Ready? Yep. Not much room for fun in the back. Unless you're tiny. Yep. Okay, go. Okay, go. Oh. I heard it that time. Had a, had one pop. Yeah. And, and it's humid, really, really humid. Here we go. Do it again. 
But I gotta put the choke on, otherwise it won't hold it. No, don't, don't. Oh, I've got the fuel, it's okay. I've run out of fuel in the squirty bottle. <laughs> right. Four. We're nearly there. Man, it's humid today. <laughs> Yes, she started, she started. Okay. Put the throttle. Oh, Show go. Yeah. Great success. Great success. Great success. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's a, it's a fuel supply thing, so just... Yeah, it's fuel supply. It's fuel supply. Woo. I think what's happened is just that the fuel system just drained back, and what happens is that the pump can't. Because you've got to crank it a long way to get the pump to fire it up, you need to squirt some actually in there. It's not a choke thing, it's just the oil supply. But my old Corolla used to do the same thing. Okay, let us try. Here we go. It's good that we don't need a wide angle lens to get us both in shot. <laughs> There's it strain back again. Give it a roll. Uh, well, that was fun. I did push it once and it worked. Hey? I did push it once and it worked. Well, I mean, trouble is we keep sort of pushing it and it all... Well, do do one roll stuff. You should do it in like, um, like third gear or something like that. Okay. Put it in H! Put it in H! Put it in H! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and not not conk it out. I think it's a fuel supply problem. Is there? Is that all the way? No. There we go. There. Uh, basically, what we seem to have in this little car, this uh, piece of technological marvel, is we have a fuel supply problem. So I suspect it's either the fuel pump or the fuel filter or the fuel line. And because we left the car for so long without driving it, all the fuel's drained from the engine and carburetor back into the fuel tank because uh, we're parked on a bit of an angle as well. Um, and then you've got to crank it and it's got to be able to suck all the fuel all the way up from the front of the car to the back of the car. So I think that's what it is. So the good old squirt bottle full of petrol and uh, away she goes. But we might need to park it the opposite way on the hill. <laughs> That, that's what we will do. Yep. Um, uh, I'd, I'd ask to put the windscreen wipers on, but I don't want the engine to stop. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, once it's going, it's going. Car, we can go for the Malibu Plains in this. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the Malibu Plains? Nullabore. Uh, Nullabore Plains. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I might fly. <laughs> <laughs> but where's your sense of adventure? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like that. That classic Australian thing with the, the Aboriginal guys keeping the car going through the middle of nowhere. Yeah. We could make a video like that. Sure. <laughs> yeah, so one of the one of the first things I usually do when a car won't start is check the ignition system which seemed to work using a timing light. The other thing is you usually pull the spark plugs out to make sure they look alright. You can tell a lot by the way, you know, a lot of the engine runs by looking at the spark plugs directly and it's actually Runs surprisingly well. Might not have any power, but it's not definitely not running rich or not running lean or anything like that. So, when are we going to put it on the dyno? That is the question. Yeah, we need to go put it on. The, I actually need to measure it and see that it'll actually fit on the dyno. That will be the interesting, the interesting thing. 
Oh, burn off this WRX. <laughs> I won! By, I, by I, default. I, I even think that uh, soccer mum car was trying to let us in, but yeah. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't accelerate. <laughs> and they gave up. Uh, I forgot how fun it is to drive this, except like the brakes barely work. Those brakes crash. Right, so it works. Thank you, Mark. A we'll go. Bottle of, uh, petrol. I reckon we'll go for an afternoon spin tomorrow and go back the mountain. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. But what I want to do is put this fort out there. Is There's a really funny show on Netflix co called Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. And it's with Jerry Seinfeld um, driving around in classic cars talking about talking about anything and nothing um, and that's kind of what I want to do as well so if you're interested in going for a drive in the Maluk with me and you are in Brisbane let me know in the comment section be below let's go for a drive let's talk Polish stuff <laughs> let's see how far we can get uh, I always need someone in the passenger side in case I do need a push so let me know if you do want to go for a drive in the Maluk Comment in the section below, especially if you are in Brisbane. Sorry, anyone outside of Brisbane, unless you want to come here, um, it's going to be a little bit far for me to drive. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And let's go for a drive in the Maluk. Polish people in cars getting vodka, pierogi, pickles, beer, whatever. Let's do it.